at Hibiya Park in downtown Tokyo. The World Archery Federation always selecting iconic, exotic locations for the World Cup Finals, and Tokyo certainly fits that description. And the site selection for the finals falls under the man you just saw, the jurisdiction of Juan Carlos Holgado, who is responsible in large part for creating this venue in the middle of a bustling city of 30 million people. All right, time now for the men's compound semifinals. And we'll start off with number one seed, Rio Wild, taking on fifth seed, Peter Elzinga of the Netherlands. Rio Wild, the United States, number one in the world. Been competing for 16 years, the last six, or his first six, I should say, were in recurve. His last 10 or so have been in compound, and there's his wife, Sherry, who made the trip to Tokyo with him. She'll be on the monocular, and she'll be calling out the arrows and coaching her husband through this match against Peter Elzinga of the Netherlands, ranked 12th in the world, was ranked as high as number one back in June of 2005. Peter Elzinga, he came from behind earlier today and defeated Pierre-Julien Deloche of France, 143 to 142. Rio Wild had a little bit easier time of it as he knocked off Anji Naoto of Japan, 145 to 136, and then turned right around, teamed up with Christy Collin to win the mixed team gold medal in the gold medal match. So Rio Wild now working on his own gold medal right here. In the first three stages of this season in the World Cup campaign, he shot in eight events, had a gold medal in seven, Picked up a silver in just one event. That was in Shanghai in the mixed team with Jamie Van Atta. And Rio Wild will shoot first. Here in this match against Peter Elzinga. Real and Wild a 10 for Rio Wild, Wild to get the party started. And joining us now, Michael Pert, who is with us this morning. We thank Larry Gottfried for stopping by. Larry, having to go practice now and get set for the recurve competition tomorrow. Great to have you back, Mike. And there's two 10s to start this match off. Yeah, it looks great. And uh, yeah, Larry's got to go back and practice. He's got a big match to do tomorrow. So are these guys uh, keeping their form from this morning? Rio wild so far. In fact, Rio shooting a little bit better than he did this morning. A little bit more dialed in now. I think both of them had a bit of a shaky start. They didn't hit their form until maybe a third into the match or halfway through, but this is what we've come to expect from these athletes. Nine for Peter Elzinga, who's on the big stage right now, taking on Rio Wild, who started 2012 by winning indoors at Singapore and then in Las Vegas, then took home a gold medal from Shanghai by defeating Julio Ricardo Fierro. Also knocked off Peter Elzinga along the way in Shanghai and also won team gold and mixed team silver in China. So he got his season started, and he has not looked back. He has been as dominant as any archer I've seen over the last two years. Yes, he has. I don't know if we've ever had someone. Because he's, there's so many tough matches, and they're always so tight, I don't think we've ever had anyone who's just won every single one. I mean, if he wins this, and he basically makes a clean sweep of the whole season, that will be phenomenal. It will be remarkable. He won in Shanghai. He won in Antalya. He won in Ogden, Utah. In Antalya, Rio beat Paul Titcher, and then his own teammate, Braden Gelentine, in the gold medal match and took home three gold medals all told from Turkey. And then he made history in Ogden by edging out Peter Elzinga, the man he's facing right now, beat him 145 to 144. So Wild swept all three World Cup events thus far to this point and extended his winning streak to four straight World Cups going back to stage four in Shanghai last year. Well, yeah, if you consider the end of last season, then it is an unbelievable run. Can he keep it up? He told me he just hopes that he can. He hopes things keep going the same way. And uh, looking at him, looking at his form, looking at the way he's shooting, I see no reason why he can't keep going, basically, which it, seems an incredible thing to say. It all comes down to the medal game, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And he seems, he seems relaxed, he seems happy. I think he appreciates having his, having his wife here for support. So uh, let's see if he keeps up, keeps up the record. Let's see if Peter Elzinga keeps the pressure on, and in fact, he does. Rio Wild, who said winning a World Cup Finals back in 2006 with a perfect score, with his wife standing right behind him, was the most memorable moment he's had in his career in archery, and he's got Sherry with him again. Every six years, she gets to come. It was a fantastic performance back then. To, to win with that perfect score, that really was... Uh, 
the stuff yeah. of dreams. And was oh, that, I believe that was the was that the first ever World Cup? Well, let me take my shoes off and I'll count. Uh, let's see. Yes, I believe it was. Yeah, I think it I was. I believe too. it was. This is the seventh World Cup. Eight. And on the line, they'll put an asterisk by it. Yeah, I favor that one is probably in, but uh, it's going to need a professional glance on that one. The Falcon Eye archery scoring system okay. works in most cases, but when it's on the line, you still need that human element. You need that judge out there ju judging and taking a look and making sure that the proper score is rewarded. Always. Ten, nine. Ten by Peter Alzinga. Can Rio Wild match it? There's your answer. Possible perfect score for Rio Wild, depending on the, on the line. Uh, and you saw the heart rate right there for Rio Wild. That's something new this year. The uh, Well, it's starting at this uh, World Cup Finals, in fact, where the apparatus is strapped to the leg of the uh, competitors and we'll be checking their heartbeat from time to time to see how it's going. And uh, in fact, Larry, Larry Godfrey mentioned it a little while ago. He noticed that uh, it seemed to be going up here in the semifinals. <laughs> I think from my experience with uh, training with Larry, I've, uh, we've compared our heart rates many a time, and Larry's one who has a bit of a, bit of a high heart rate, so it's going to be interesting to see uh, how many beats per minute he gets on the screen tomorrow. All business for Rio Wild. The guy who likes to have a good time, smile and laugh when he's not there on the shooting line, and he's got a two-point lead right now, 60 to 58. So he's got his focus and his game face on right now. Taking on Peter Elzinga, who came from behind to defeat Peter Pierre Julien Deloche by one point this morning. An experienced archer who picked up a team silver at the World Championships in Torino in 2011. A lot of people might be wondering, the viewers might be wondering why they've got the heart rate monitor strap in their leg when most of us would have the conventional system that goes around your chest. World Archery were very conscious they didn't want to interfere with the archer shooting. And being around the chest because we raise our arms and the way we shoot, they felt that some people might find it off-putting and distract them. We didn't want that at all. So they've gone for around the leg just so that no one's got uh, We shouldn't be affecting anyone's performance. And it certainly doesn't seem to be affecting the, the guys here. Lead remains at two. Well, Peter wasn't happy with that one when it went off. You could see his uh, jerk reaction with his front arm trying to steer the arrow closer to the center, obviously, because when the release aid went off, this, the dot wasn't in the middle of the target, so he was just trying to get the best of a bad situation. But with Rio shooting nothing but tens, it might not matter. Three-point lead now. And you see the heart rate, 61 beats per minute. Eh, 61, 63, which is actually a very low yeah, that's rate, I would think, for this situation. Ten, ten, ten. Ten, ten, ten. Ten, ten, ten. Wow. So methodically, Rio Wild is starting to pull away and build upon that lead. And I've got to think, if I'm Peter Elzinga right now, I've got to fight the, the feeling that I can't come back against a guy like Rio Wild. You've got to just concentrate on yourself. He's just got to think, well, I can't affect what my opponent does. So all I can do is shoot my best. And if he shoots out nothing but tens, but now it still loses, at least he's given it his best shot. But he can't give up. You just have to keep focusing, look after yourself, and if Rio makes a mistake, you're ready there to take advantage, but you can see by that target face. Mistakes aren't what are on the menu today. Everything is in or on the 10 ring. Nine shots, and he has not missed the center of the target yet. You only got to touch the line and you get the score, and he's uh, been getting the scores. Rio Wild has not missed on his first nine shots, and he has not allowed Peter Alzinga any breathing room at all. In fact, Elzinga's down by three, 90 to 87 as we start the fourth end. And Elzinga courageously soldiers on. He's a champion. He knows what to do. Keep going. Just like this man. Another 10. 
So the streak remains alive. We've seen him do it before. Yes, I was trying to think if anyone's done it this year. Have we had? I can't Perfect recall. Score. I don't think we have, to be honest with you, but uh, we'll have to check. Okay. Maybe he having his wife here is what he needs for the perfect scores. Maybe <laughs> that's the maybe that's the secret. Ah, he's human. Oh. And you laugh. Isn't it terrible? We're disappointed. You know, it's only just out of the ten, and we're all disappointed. You know, it's still a fantastic performance. Look at the heart rate now. Yeah, it's climbing. Ten, ten, ten. The adrenaline is flowing, and that's three straight tens in this end for Peter Alzinga. He's going to be hoping for a few more of those uh, ten, arrows nine, just out eight, from seven, Rio. Ten points. It's not the case, though. Rio back in that center ring with a 10. So out of his first 12 shots, 11 of them have been 10s. So Rio Wild, who did lead by three after the first three ends, now leads by two. By my count, 119 to 117. Yep. And he's three arrows away from reaching the finals here in Tokyo. The other advantage of being Rio with is so much experience to a lot of athletes making the final here is a big deal, and let alone making the gold medal match. But because he's been here, he's done it before, he's had so many gold medal matches. Every time I think it just adds to the confidence and just maybe maybe your heartbeat just drops down that few more beats because you're used to it, you know you've been through this situation and still had success. So maybe, uh, maybe all these little things add up and that's what makes a champion. Confidence really it all boils down to having been there before and having done it before. And Rio Wild has done it many, many times before. But he leads by just two. And again, as we saw this morning, anything can happen. So Peter Elzinga Fantastic keeps shot. on fighting. Fantastic shot there for Peter. Elzinga's shot amazingly well in this match, but he is matched up against the machine, Rio Wild. The pride of Pocatello, is he in or out? I think it's going to be out. What's Falcon Eye saying? Yep, they're calling it out, but they're putting a star next to it, so we'll have to wait for the human eye. Oh, okay. the Falcon eye. El Zinga keeping hope alive. And if that first shot is a nine and Rio should falter Ten. with either of these next two shots. Oh, no. Spoke too soon. So a one point lead going down to the final arrow. That will not do it. No, Peter's going to find it hard to accept that one. No, no. Eight or better will do it. And 10. Next 10. Shuts the door. And again, a kiss for the coach. <laughs> so Real Wild has made it on to the finals here at the World Cup Compound Finals in Tokyo. Excellent match between Peter Elzinga and Real Wild, but Real Wild showing the form that he has displayed that's allowed him to win four straight World Cup medals going back to Shanghai last year in 2011. Won all three events this year. And would love to pick up the gold medal here. Last year finished second in Istanbul at the World Cup Finals as he lost to Roger Willa Jr. But Rio Wild with a big wave, but more work yet to be done. Yes, and probably psychologically, there's probably more work for Peter to do. He's going to be disappointed with that last shot. He's going to be disappointed with that match. But he has to turn his mindset around because there's still a gold medal to win. And there's no point going into a bronze medal match thinking I'm a loser or I just threw it away. You've got to turn it around. You've got to think, OK, that last match didn't go my way. This one is going to go my way and I'm going to be a bronze medalist because uh, I can tell you from experience.